Here's my plan. I have a 980 Ti classified, and I have an all-in-one liquid water cooler. Let's see if we can mash them together and make something awesome. The parts I'm working with today are from the brands on your screen. Please consider supporting them if you like what you see in this video. Alright, so what I have here is an already disassembled graphics card, uh, an NZXT cooler with bracket. Uh, so here is the classified 980 Ti. Uh, we have the back plate, it is very, very, very sexy. With an under plate that helps for rigidity and also acts as a cooling buffer for all of the VRMs and electrical components and things. Uh, here is the heatsink, the legendary classified heatsink, uh, ACX 2.0. Uh, we will not be using this, so we can put this to the side. Uh, what we have here is a Kraken G6 or G10 liquid cooling bracket with a, this is a G10 and this is the Kraken X60 uh, CPU cooler that I used to have on my CPU that we are now going to repurpose for the graphics card. So, what all you have to do is take it, separate it, the graphics card, as shown, clean up your chip, there is the GM200, and all you gotta do is you take the mounting bracket, this is gonna go like this, Doop. just like that, Isn't that, that's gonna look good, that's gonna look good, and that's gonna be like that. We're going to take our thermal paste, we're going to apply our thermal paste. I prefer the PE method, because who doesn't like to pee? Alright, that's way too much, but it's okay, because it doesn't really matter. Nice, nice, nice. And here you go. Here is your NZXT water cooled 980 Ti classified. Let's go install it. And here's what it looks like in the case. Uh, there's the graphics card there with the uh, 280 rad in the front. This is the Master Case 5 by Cooler Master that can comfortably fit a 360 rad in there, but I'm using just the 280. Uh, there are three fans in the front uh, that two of them blow through uh, over the graphics card through my little Enermax CPU cooler as well, and then one out the back. I have no fans up top, uh, and the fan in the power supply goes in the bottom and out the back so there's a little bit of suckage down that way but it's a positive pressure case which I really like. Now what does this mean for performance? Now at idle this thing's going to be rocking 24 degrees centigrade which is way lower than it was with the air cooler on there. The air cooler was about 30 degrees centigrade but under load is where the real performance lies. I ran a heaven benchmark on this thing, uh, high settings at for a half hour and on the air cooler I would sit about 67 degrees centigrade. With this it goes to 39 degrees centigrade at max. Normally on average it sits at 37 degrees centigrade. Now idle 24 and full load is 37. That is phenomenal in my book. 
Could you acquire that with a single 140 or a 120? Yes, quite possible. But the level of headroom for overclocking is going to be a little bit less. I do plan on overvolting this thing. I do plan on cranking the overclock way up. Um, right now it's currently rocking, or the stock air overclock that I've applied to it, which is uh, plus 78 megahertz, which gives me about 14, uh, I think 1470 uh, under full tilt. Um, but we're going to see if we can get this thing over 1500 on water. Uh, it's going to take a lot of voltage to do that because uh, the ASIC quality of this card is kind of crap. But I feel with pure grit and determination, I'll be able to get somewhere with it. So I just thought I would give you guys a preview of my case. There is more of it to come. I plan on getting an LED kit. I plan on getting the tempered side glass panel and a couple other things that Cooler Master has up their sleeves for, the, for this case. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, interact with me on the sidebar and underneath, show me some love, and I'll see you guys in the next video.